in today's episode of Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh. We continue laying the foundation with Book 1. This is Chapter 5, Section 4. Prayer Clearing the Altar of the Heart In this past world, the linear world of time and space, Prayers were often believed to be petitions, requests, or questions. Lord, grant me. Lord, I ask that. Please, Lord, I beckon you to. Lord, I have a favor to ask. It is as if there was a power up there, out there, or apart, that was looking down and watching over the world. A power who had the ability to, at times, grant wishes and favors to human beings. It also appeared to be the case that prayers were not always answered. This view could not have been avoided. Seeing God as fickle or inconsistent or, very strangely, a being that was capable of playing favorites. These are the concepts and perceptions of prayer that arise from an allegiance to the ego the impossible belief in scarcity and lack. They were but witnesses to false belief and thus were never accurate or true. Yet, there is another way to see prayer. True prayer is a way back to the recognition of the kingdom of heaven. True prayer is an opening and clearing of the heart, a return to the purity or singularity of desire. For prayer is desire, and as such, prayer is continuous. Prayer never starts or stops and it is never strong or weak, sincere or insincere. One is never absent from prayer or the power of prayer. Like faith, prayer can seem to be misplaced. Yet even this illusion cannot but testify to the power of the mind from which the illusion was made. Just look at the time-space cosmos. A belief in separation can seem to make a big bang out of literally nothing. As the saying goes, be careful what you pray for because prayers are answered. Prayer is actually the meditation of the heart. As visualization is the imagination that seems to arise from belief, belief is the illusory ego wisp that draws from and is powered by prayer. Heaven itself is beyond belief, for God can be but known. Prayer is the energy of God. In heaven, prayer is the song of gratitude 
that echoes forever as the eternal oneness of creation. In time-space, prayer is the energy which infuses all appearances and powers belief. Prayer is itself in the divine silence within, in which the beloved of God rests in peace. The heart which is one has no division, for there is nothing unlike itself. True prayer accepts what is. What is remains forever changeless as a gift of God. Creation is eternal. God's will is perfect happiness, now and forever. Wholeness is complete and total. There is nothing to be wanted in the wholeness of God. There is nothing to get in the reality of allness. The I Am Presence is very literally the kingdom of heaven, from which nothing can be absent. The belief in linear time is the belief in lack. The belief in linear time is the belief in seek and do not find. Text chapter 12, section 4. Or as the song says, looking for love in all the wrong places. Eternity and time cannot coexist. One is real and one is not. One is eternal innocence and one is the illusion of guilt. How could innocence be found in guilt or love be found in fear? And how could spirit be found in a string of images sequenced and arranged in a line? Divine love, Christ, is the inheritance and cannot be found in specifics of time-space. The holy instant calls. The experience of now is the answer. Pray truly, holy child of God, holy creator of me. What is your will for me? And here, beloved child, thy will is mine, one forever. You are created as perfect happiness in eternity and remain so forever. We shall not be content with the littleness of time-space. We shall not ask for what can never content our holy mind. Blessed are the pure in heart, for <laughs> you know the rest. Foolish beliefs have fallen from the inner altar of prayer now swept away by the wind of eternity. The light is free to radiate completely without obstruction. A heart made free of the pursuit of idols is a heart which loves the Lord, thy God, with all its being. My heart abides forever with God. Amen.